let's see. I met my husband in February of the year Josh was diagnosed with kidney failure. So we met in February and then we had the transplant in May and that's actually when my husband met my parents for the first time, which is a little bit nerve wracking for him. But um, we got married and we had Zeke and Lila um, a couple years ago. <laughs> we are, I don't know, it's just kind of a, whirlwind of a life right now with everybody growing up. I'm the middle child. My sister's name is Becky and my brother's name is Josh and um, we're all very close in age and we grew up very close um, playing together and um, getting into trouble together. <laughs> well, I, I know that uh, the one thing I remember uh, most about growing up is I always wanted to have them come outside and play ball with me, so it was always a struggle to try to get uh, my two older sisters to come out and play catch or something. I was always very athletic. You know, he always wanted to be doing what we were doing, and uh, um, when we got into more of middle and high school, then um, he was very athletic, very into sports, and. Uh, um, very social, had a lot of friends. He has a great personality. He's funny and people are kind of drawn to him in that way. So they always have been. So about seven years ago, Josh called me and said that he had been having really bad headaches and that he uh, went to urgent care to find out what was going on and urgent care sent him to the emergency room because his blood pressure was off the charts high. A few weeks later uh, I found out that I had kidney failure and actually Debbie was sitting right next to me whenever we found out the bad news and the doctor said at the time you know he might be a good candidate for a transplant and that siblings might be a good uh, option. At that point you know I'm sitting there with him and I just thought I don't why wouldn't I you know why wouldn't I donate the kidney to him. I remember the first thing I, I, well, the first thing I said when I woke up was, I'm not a fan of surgeries. <laughs> and then um, the second thing was, I wanted to know how he was doing. And uh, I was very relieved when they said that my kidney started working as soon as they hooked it up in him. That's the one thing I asked right away was, is this going to have any ill effects for my sister? You know, donating a kidney, is it going to cause her not to be able to do something that you know, that would affect her life as she grows older, and, and the answer was no. A lot of times there's a misconception that if you're a living donor that your life kind of stops and you can't do a lot of things that you were able to do before, but my life has gone on like normal. I don't have to watch what I eat, you know, I can exercise normally. Um, I, you know, I went on and I got married and now I was able to get pregnant and I carried twins and they're healthy and happy and a little crazy. <laughs> um, but I mean, you can donate and still have a happy, healthy life. And so I want people to, to know that. Um, I think before that, I, I really felt a little bit invincible. Um, I hadn't been to the doctor in a long time. You know, I was fairly athletic and I felt like I was in pretty good shape. and. Um, and so it, it really put life into perspective for me a little bit. It slowed me down quite a bit and just made me realize kind of how precious life is. I think I might have taken it for granted a little bit before that. And uh, obviously my sister and I have become closer through this. I appreciate the, a, lot of, a lot of things I think I maybe didn't appreciate as much as I would have. You know, the, the one thing that I always just want to, you know, to share with others is the fact that uh, but, you know, my sister's donation to me has really meant the world to me. You know, I, I've, I've been married since then, a wonderful wife, and we recently had a baby in January. And, and these things just would not have been possible with my current situation before the transplant. You know, he's my brother. He's my baby brother. You know, I love him, and I, I wanted him to be here for a long time. And now to be able to see how his life has grown and changed and he's gotten married and he has, you know, his baby girl Bryn. And it's just, it just means the world to me. It's just wonderful to be able to have played a part in that and to have been able to help him out in that way. <laughs>